I think the term we would use now is mixed martial arts. Barton Wright had put together kind of an interesting brain trust there of martial artists from around the world. He was probably initially the only one who understood it. So he was probably the only master of Bartitsu. He was a kind of an early Bruce Lee. What was exciting was that Barton Wright certainly pioneered, brought that to the fore and actually said, well, women can defend themselves in a more physical kind of way, but do so elegantly. If you look back in retrospect, he was a very important figure, but at the same time, I think he was almost forgotten for many, many years. Really. The thing is, anybody who's ahead of the time, when they're not there, or the, or the fashions slightly change, they do get forgotten. Not exactly pushing the background, because it's almost like they never were. Behind the walls of that club in London, they must have done something other than just go through the same basic set of moves. You have to assume that uh, they stood around and talked and tried different things out on each other and developed new ideas and trying to play with them a little and say, well, okay, what if your opponent doesn't cooperate, tries something you're, you're not expecting? How are you going to respond to that? I'm seeing meetings in, in Italy and in Germany and British Columbia. It seems like every weekend there's a new place where somebody's trying it out. There's the art. It's not ours. It's Barton Wright's. And we're not going to rubber stamp it and say, you have to come to us before you can do whatever you want. We think that's, that's our legacy because it's his legacy.